Hey guys, welcome to this new video on 7 ways to have an active lifestyle and stop being lazy by Healthy Find Me. My name is Aruna Prasad and I'm a nutritionist. I've done my masters in nutrition and biochemistry and I've been guiding people on food and nutrition for the last 11 years. Now, in this video, let us talk about 7 ways to have an active lifestyle and stop being lazy. Laziness begets laziness. Haven't we heard this too often when growing up? Every time probably we procrastinated doing some homework or even cleaning up our messy rooms and so on, right? Does the cycle still continue? Do you still rush through your task at the last minute or say lack motivation to take up something new, challenging or even out of the box tasks? Or, you know, you're somebody who has never fully utilized your gym subscription. Or do you keep falling off the bandwagon of taking care of your body and health? I'm sure most of us do go through these periods of low energy or low self-motivation. However, what sets the achievers or the fitness gurus or even your favorite influencer apart from the crowd is the ability to bounce back. So, here we have some simple yet effective ways to lead an active lifestyle and to break the vicious cycle of laziness and low motivation. Here comes my first tip which is ditch the old unhelpful habits. So here is something that I have learned from a lot of motivational speakers and successful people which definitely makes a lot of sense. We know that our daily habits define us, don't we? So similarly, unhelpful habits also define us, the habits which have kept you probably unproductive. So the first way to overcome this is to break down your long-term goal into short-term goals with realistic timelines. So this will help you realize that you need not have to be too harsh on yourself and expect yourself to be perfect all the time. Though criticism is great for self-learning and also to improve, but if you've been feeling low on motivation, it is important to focus on your strengths than your shortcomings. So avoid seeking validation from others and focus on having a plan of action to take you closer to your goals. This holds good in all aspects of having great physical and mental health. Do you want to know more? Then do listen to our next few tips, especially around your physical health. Here comes my second tip, which is to prioritize sleep duration and timing. Sleep duration and timing both have an impact on your energy levels. If you would like to ditch laziness, then it's very important to focus on getting not just the right amount of sleep, but also to consistently maintain your sleep and wake up time. Now, what duration of sleep is considered sufficient? Well, that can vary from one individual to another. However, about six to eight hours of sleep is sufficient for most of us. Prioritizing sleep is not just important if you would like to stay energetic throughout the day but also has a huge role to play on your food choices and food cravings as well. Insufficient sleep can create havoc on your hormones which control your hunger and satiety. This means your chances of choosing the wrong foods or even say overeating is higher which could further dip your energy levels. Break the cycle by fixing your sleep pattern, duration and also the timings. Avoid screen time 30 to 60 minutes before bedtime if you have issues with falling asleep. Limit your coffee and tea intake post lunch time. Also, most importantly, try to go to bed at the same time every day. Before we proceed further, make sure that you have subscribed to or followed Healthy Finally. Now, here comes my third tip. Start your day right. Are you somebody like me who believes that starting your day right is extremely important so that the day pans out well? In which case, having a morning routine would really help to start your day right. It could be little things done right, provided you do it every single day to see the impact it has on your overall lifestyle. Now, what do I really mean by that? Let's say avoid looking at your phone or social media or even say checking your emails as soon as you wake up because this could completely distract you from starting your day on a very productive note. So start the day with the meditation routine or with some positive affirmations or even gratitude. You could even start the day by going out in the sun, especially within the first hour of sunrise. So choose whatever works for you. This not just helps improve your mental health, energizes you, it also improves your sleep quality and has a great impact on your overall well-being. If you have the time to go get a quick run or a long walk, that's even better. 
when it comes to food, we mostly wake up to a cup of coffee or tea. This does not help in kick-starting your metabolism. Instead, what you could do is try having a bowl of fresh fruits or a glass of fresh lemonade. You could even see some significant difference in your energy levels, gut health and also your overall eating choices throughout the day. My fourth tip is to take breaks. Taking short, frequent breaks from work helps to lighten up your day. We have been hearing this for quite some time now that, you know, sitting is the new smoking, right? With the current work from home culture, we hardly get to move. We are sitting during the day for work or at night watching our favorite series. So overall, our activity levels have significantly reduced. Now, also because of the pandemic. So this could sap our energy. So take those breaks which can actually improve your productivity by breaking the monotony. Instead of having a bottle of water right next to you on your work desk, probably go fetch it from the kitchen directly. The same holds good even when you would like to have your favorite beverage or even munch on some quick bites. This also helps you to be mindful of the number of cups of coffee or tea or even the portion of snacks you have in a day. Most importantly, stretching and moving every say about 45 to 60 minutes is great to keep your metabolism high. It also helps you manage your body weight and also prevents body ache and pain because of the wrong posture which all of us generally have because of long sitting hours and this could further boost our energy levels. Now, you can learn more about workouts and track the calories you burn from the comfort of your phone. Download the Healthify Me app from the link in the description box below to know more. You will also be able to track over 55,000 foods, receive real-time insights and automated analytics on your health. Here comes my fifth tip which is mindful clean eating. We all already know by now that we are what we eat. If we are eating the wrong foods, it not just puts us at a higher risk for lifestyle diseases but it can also affect our daily productivity, energy levels and fitness to even sleep. Does that mean you have to eat boring, bland foods? Of course not. All you have to do is to pay attention to what you eat. That sounds simple, right? It actually is. This means that you ditch your phone or turn off your television or even your laptop every time you sit and eat. The focus when you're in front of the food has to only be on your eating. This way, you'll automatically start choosing the right kind of foods. Mindfulness and clean eating are interrelated. This means that your food can nourish you, improve your energy levels and not make you lethargic or sleepy. Also, being mindful of what you eat will in turn help you to eat to your capacity and not really overeat. Here comes the sixth tip which is the little rewards trick. Just like how rewards and recognitions are important to keep us motivated at work, they're equally important for us to propel in our personal daily life. These little timely rewards can be a great way to ditch laziness and also to stay focused. This could be in your every aspect of your personal life as well. Say your weekly or fortnightly reward or even cheat meal when you're otherwise eating clean or say a rest day from your daily exercise routine. It could be buying yourself your favorite gadget or even going on a holiday or even that little black dress. So rewards can help you stay focused, motivated and give you reasons to look forward when you wake up every single day. Stop feeling guilty when you eat your favorite dessert on a Saturday night. Remember, one wrong meal or even one missed workout does not really define you. Here comes the seventh and the final tip for this video which is to keep it simple and realistic. This is my favorite one. I try and mostly implement this in every aspect of my life. Let's say you would like to shed a few kilos and try to get on a diet. Then ask yourself this question before you begin one, which is, is this simple for me to stick to it for the next couple of years? Does this goal sound realistic and achievable? If your answer is yes for both the questions, then you're highly likely to succeed in your weight loss goal. If it is too complex for you to sustain, then remember it was not you who failed, but it was the goal that was pointless. The same holds true when you're probably starting a new exercise regimen. Remember, every goal, every habit and every change should leave you energetic and not actually add to your stress. Remember, it's okay to fail. It's not the end of the road and you always have an option to look out for more avenues. However, it is important to have the willingness to change. 
which is say willingness to start new habits or even the willingness to commit to the smallest possible actions. Avoid breaking the chain and bear in mind consistency is the key. And we have reached the end of this video on 7 ways to have an active lifestyle and stop being lazy by Healthify Me. We hope you liked our video. Let us know in the comment section how you are going to make your lifestyle active and which of these tips are you going to start using right away. You can chat with our coaches on WhatsApp for anything related to health and fitness. Click on the link in the description box below and start your consultation now. Do like this video if you have learned something new today. You can share this video with your family, friends and your loved ones. And you can also add this video to your personal playlist so that you can come back and watch this video anytime. Let us know in the comment section if we have missed out on anything or if you have any suggestions or questions about this particular topic. If you have not subscribed to or followed our Healthify Me channel yet, go ahead and click on the subscribe or follow button. If you are on YouTube, click the bell icon to stay tuned to more videos from Healthify Me. Thank you for watching.